Hi, Mom. Emma, is that you? Spare Change was a well-rounded piece. Um, we begin finding out the complex family relationships with Emmett that has made him decide on his choice to leave his home. And it leads me to a conclusion that this is probably a constant among the community that are homeless. It is a choice that they felt they had to make or a choice that they felt they had no other choice but to make. And we see the struggle to be seen by family with Emmett and to be seen by the people in the street that he is asking for um, money from. And then the event for me in this is when Emmett finds an ally who gives him advice that he needs to utilize to figure out how to survive on his own. And then only once he figures out how to stand on his own two feet, does she then bring him under her wing and allow him to get at, get the one thing that he's been after the whole entire day, which is food. What was interesting about this for me personally is I recognize a lot of the locations in this in this place. One park, which I lived very close to at a particular time, houses a, such a large homeless community. Um, and I thought this piece brought light to this community without um, degrading it. And, and it did it in a way that made you Think about how we are all treating those who are less than than us. Spare change. They did such a nice job with this. I loved the story about finding a family who accepts you for who you are. And I think that the cinematography was great. What they did, the acting was wonderful. Everybody was such a pleasure to watch and very, very believable. Yeah. And what a great subject to tackle. And it gave you hope at the end of it. And that was something that I liked too. Great job. This film is called Spare Change. Wow, this was a lovely LGBTQ plus short. I love the performance of the lead character, a trans man who has been rejected by his mother and trying to make it on the streets. I actually enjoyed the performances of all the cast members, very believable. Great camera work of the streets of LA. I like the writing in that the lead becomes more and more confident as the film goes on. I would love to see this in a feature. Great job. Spare change. Check it out. Spare change. I loved this piece. Great opening to show these iconic buildings of Hollywood and the scenes of glamour and the place where they have made the American dream and the idea of it, which is typically kind of heterosexual. We even see the, the perfect Marilyn walking down the streets. Um, and then we transition to see the other side of the city, the homeless people experiencing homelessness, the tent cities, uh, the things that people don't want to acknowledge. Um, we also see a family situation in a really honest way showing where somebody doesn't want to acknowledge the truth about their family member because it doesn't fit in that box and seeing what the impact is on somebody. Um, I thought this piece was wonderful in showing the resilience, the struggles, uh, and also the community and the strength it takes to stay united against a world that doesn't want to see you. Um, so it was wonderful to see that final lunch shared where they see Emmett and they address Emmett by his chosen name, by his chosen gender, um, and share a meal in an act of solidarity and in family and chosen family. So I thought the acting was brilliant. Um, I especially loved the woman he met on the streets, uh, who, with her zest and vibrancy and, uh, playfulness in her performance that really struck me. She just instantly made me smile every time she was talking. Uh, great piece, important piece. I'm impressed they were able to find a payphone still. I guess LA still has a few. I think all cities do if you hunt for them. This film had a really good story to it. It would have been so much better if they found people who didn't overact. It's like they got theater actors in a film and it was kind of clear. But the story was there. Um, an inspirational story about doing what's best, uh, the kid reminded me of a homeless guy I know that goes to the dollar store and 
makes art out of tin foil. It's figure out, like she said, figure out what your niche is if you have to be out there. And since he was good at portraits, it's what makes sense. And he did find his home, so it works. Like I said, the story was really, really good. But just the acting was a little theatrical rather than cinematic. Transgender matters. Family not accepting you for who you are. Being ignored as you're homeless on the streets of L.A. No one plans on being on the streets alone. But they make one thing clear. They wouldn't be able to spend a day in your shoes. And art seems to be the way that they end up making a living off of the streets. Uh, and it really shows that friendships do help you. Uh, those bonds can become familial, and a potluck brings this group together in the end. And it's an intimate experience with a group of people willing to share a meal, coming into it with kindness and affection. Uh, the costuming was executed very well here. Her headscarf stands out to me. You know, doing homeless fashion right in LA, uh, they do have a way that they dress themselves with style despite having uh, this challenge of living on the streets. Uh, so that is something I can definitely appreciate here. You get a glance of beauty within the homeless community from the cin cinematographer's eyes as well.